Hello friends, welcome to Green PC YouTube channel. This channel will discuss about high yielding and most repeatedly asked questions for those who are preparing for medical PG entrance. If you didn't subscribe our channel so far, please do it and click the bell icon next to it to receive notifications. Feel free to click the like button and share your comments. Hi friends, today we will discuss about Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome. Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome is also called as Pre Excitation Syndrome. This syndrome is characterized by tachyarrhythmia. Why this tachyarrhythmia? It is because of the conduction of electrical impulse through this accessory pathway. SA node is the pacemaker of the heart. From this SA node, the impulses are transmitted to the AV node and then it reaches the ventricle in normal case. So normally there is a delay in the AV node for the impulse to be transmitted to the ventricle. That delay is called as AV node delay. Whereas in Wolf Parkinson White syndrome, the impulses are traveled to via accessory pathway called as bundle of Kent to the ventricle. So the impulse reach fastly to the ventricle without any delay, which can lead to tachyarrhythmia. What do you mean by pre-excitation? Pre-excitation means the early activation of the ventricles due to impulses bypassing the AV node. How this happens? Because they go through the accessory pathway called bundle of Kent. There are two types of pre-excitation. Type A pre-excitation in which the left ventricle get activated first. And the type B pre-excitation where the right ventricle get activated first. The most common pre-excitation is type A pre-excitation. Wolf-Parkinson syndrome is more common in males. The most common arrhythmia associated with the Wolf-Parkinson white syndrome is AVRT, atrioventricular reentrant tachycardia. The second most common arrhythmia associated with the Wolf-Parkinson white syndrome is atrial fibrillation. Among the AVRT, the most common type is ORT, orthodromic reciprocatory tachycardia. Let's have a look into the ECG finding in Wolf Parkinson White syndrome. It includes short PR interval. And there will be a slurred abstract of QRS complex, which is famously known as delta wave. and a white QRS complex. Thank you very much. Let's solve this MCQ. All are ECG findings of Wolf Parkinson White syndrome except option A narrow QRS complex, option B narrow QT interval, option C Slur and tall QRS, option D, short PR interval. Yeah, that's it guys.